Hello guys, so welcome to part three of my mini series on the KLR 650. This is where we're going to look at changing the air filter on the KLR. So, like I say, bought a product that I've not used before. This is the Funnel Web air filter. It states that it's uh, got double the, the surface area than the standard filter. Um, it also comes with a 12 month warranty. Um, there's some other little nice stuff in the bag as well, which I'll show you. Uh, so this model number is the FWF 484 and that states there that it's for the Kawasaki KLR 650 from 1987 to 2018 so 2010 model. Other things we're going to need to do this job a relatively big Phillips screwdriver, a socket or long reach 8mm um, with a ratchet just to get the plastics off, 200 millilitres of air filter oil and then I've just got some degreaser and some cloth as well just to clean out the box. I don't know what it's like in there. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is take off this plastic here. So that's what you need your 8mm for. Let's get that in there. There's only two fixing points, one up the back there. Relatively short bolts. And up the front here. There's a popper just on the bottom there. Look at that, Paul. There you go, that comes off. With the plastics now off, you'll see a Phillips screw just in the middle of the bike, uh, between the tank and the exhaust. Just unscrew that, take it all the way off. Put that somewhere safe. And this should just open and pull off. Now, you'll see that's pretty grubby. We're gonna clean that in a bit. And there is my old air filter. So you notice it's just got a wing nut just inside. Just get that in there and start undoing the wing nut. Shouldn't be too tight. There's the wing nut. Then just pull the air cleaner off. There you go, there's our old air cleaner. See it's pretty grubby. I certainly haven't changed this and I've had the bike for a year. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is just clean inside the airbox. So I've got some degreaser here, so don't spray too much because you've got to get out. But just get in there, go with your rag and just give that a good clean. Okay, with your parts now laid out on the floor, we're also going to give the door a bit of a clean. So same thing, get your degreaser. Not too much, you don't need to actually coat it unless your, your one is absolutely that dirty. Once happy with that, we'll move on to the air filter. So the air filter actually has a little cradle inside. Now don't throw this away because you need the cradle, but just take the foam off. Like so, put that aside. Either throw that away or keep it for spares, whatever you want to do. Now we're going to give the cradle a bit of a clean as well. Shouldn't need to go to town on this because uh, that's actually on the clean side of the air filter. Okay, so let's have a look at our new air filter. So funnel web filter, Australian made, 12 month warranty like we said earlier. I mean it looks pretty cool, I'll give it that. Um, there's a little pack just inside as well, we'll take a look what that is in, in a second. And just have a look on the back, and this is quite important, don't throw the bag away just yet, we're going to actually use that to oil the filter. Okay, let's open it up. Take your filter out, give it a look over, I mean, it looks pretty cool. Appears to be of similar size. I mean, obviously we have to stretch it around the cradle just yet. Looks pretty good. What else do we get in the pack? Got a little pack here. Ah, some gloves. Oh, could have used these earlier. Well, no time like the present.
important, always when sure it's oiled. So what we're gonna do is there's a fill line just here. Now I've actually measured out 200 milliliters of oil. Open your bag up, get your filter oil, just square it all in there. Then what you do is you throw your new filter straight in. Close up the bag. Then squidge it all around. Can see why you need the gloves. So what we're gonna do is get our cradle. Okay, so once you're happy, you've got the right amount of oil in there. So now I've just squeezed it all the way out, all the way around. It's a lot easier when you use the, uh, the coloured filter oil. Unfortunately, I've only got the uh, colourless stuff here. Um, just making sure it's not absolutely dripping off of it. I mean, if this was coloured, you'd see probably a nice green, blue or red, depending which colour you got all the way around it. Put your wing nut bolt all the way through. Rotate it into the air box, lining up the uh, bolt. Doing it up finger tight. Once you're happy, that's all on there. Done up nice and tight, it's sealed all the way around. Give a wipe of any excess oil that may have made it around the box. Lid from earlier. Put that in. Phillips screw. Now to put our side back on, get in position, rotate it under the seat, pop the middle popper in, your two 8mm bolts from earlier. And there you go, that was part three, how to change the air filter on a 2010 KLR 650. Please feel free to check out my other videos in the series or indeed any of my other videos on my channel. Thanks for watching, please give me the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.